We are what we repeatedly do. Excellence then is an act but not a habit. This was a quote from Aristotle. We've all got some bad habits when it comes to money, but they are not always easy to break even if you realize how much better off you might be. One of the most commonly used examples for how to save money is cutting out your daily coffee. Now I used to buy a coffee every day. I'd tell myself, it's just a few dollars, it's not really costing me that much, but if I knew how much I could have saved, if I'd stopped buying a takeaway coffee every day, let me think, at $3.50, five days a week, 46 weeks a year, that's about 800 bucks. Now that's pretty good from just one money habit. But you know what? Like most coffee drinkers, I really liked the smell of a freshly brewed coffee. And I kind of liked the ritual of going and getting it. You know, the mental break away from your desk. Now there are plenty of articles online that suggest 21 days is a magic number for how long it takes to break a habit. However, a book called Making Habits, Breaking Habits by Jeremy Dean explores the science and evidence on habit formation. In one study, he found that it took 66 days on average for a new habit to form. Not surprisingly, he did find that it was easier to, for a habit like drinking a glass of water every day to form than a harder habit like saying taking a 20 minute run each day. When I cut, away, cut down on the takeaway coffee, it probably took me about five weeks for the habit to form. Now I still like the smell of a freshly brewed coffee, but I don't miss going out to get it. And I actually prefer that I'm keeping the extra dollars in my pocket. Now saving some extra money is not always as simple as looking at the numbers. Sometimes you really need to form that new habit and that can take a little bit of hard work.